Hi, my name is Bonnie and this is Nerd Soul and today I'm going to show you how to do makeup for Porum Miram from Homestuck. So you always want to make sure that you look really cool when doing makeup with one of these really awesome headbands. I find that they really lend themselves to the overall cool factor. Where you need to start though is your foundation. So my face is clean right now, I don't have anything on, you don't want any primers um, or anything like that because your pores are going to get gummed up enough as it is. So I use Snazaroo, um, classic colors in light gray. And if you go on Amazon and look up gray face paint, you'll find several different brands and they all have like 5,000 comments from different people saying whether or not these are good colors for Homestuck cosplays. So I went with this one, it was the most highly rated. Now what you need to do, you're going to have a sponge and you need to get this damp in order to apply the face paint. Um, if you try to do it not that way, you'll have a very hard time. So I have a tiny bowl of water. You just want to get the sponge a tiny bit damp, um, get your product on, and then you are going to start applying it. Um, I did about four coats of this stuff, um, letting it dry a little bit in between each coat so that it's a nice opaque color um, all over. And for Porum also, um, we obviously see her arms. Um, so I did my neck, chest, all of my arms. Um, I just bought gray leggings because I didn't feel like also painting my legs. Um, so yeah, it took probably an hour or so to apply all of the paint to everywhere that it needed to go. Okay, yay. So now we are all gray. And because this is a water-based um, makeup, you want to make sure that you seal it with something. Um, otherwise, you're going to sweat and it's just all going to come off. So you want to use body powder or baby powder. Some people don't like body powder because it has um, talcum powder in it or something and it's controversial. I don't really know. Um, this is what I got. They also have a spray. Um, but I find that the powder is a little bit easier to control because less is shooting at you and it's less overwhelming. So this is my favorite um, kabuki brush. It's e.l.f. I think it was like $3. Um, it is so soft and heavenly. So we're just going to get some baby powder and then you smell so fresh and so clean. So there are so, so, so many options for eye color. Um, and I just have a couple here that I want to show you uh, brands that I just like. Um, Wet n Wild does really good cheap makeup as well. Um, this is a palette with greens and a silver and gold. I won't be using the silver or the gold, but the greens and the black are good. Um, I don't know if this is NYX or NYX, but they have good cheap makeup as well. This, again, I'll be using the black. And then I have a really sparkly green, and then I have a matte green. Um, both of these are good too. Bare Minerals also, really nice. They have really, really awesome um, glittery eyeshadow. So if you want extra super glittery, um, that's the way to go. I know people really love MAC eyeshadow, but it's totally not affordable, especially for cosplay, because I'll never wear really shiny green eyeshadow again in my entire life except for this so I'm not gonna pay like $25 for it. So when I'm doing cosplay I like to come up with um, a compilation of the source material so that I can constantly check and make sure that I am being as accurate as possible. So this was my Porum um, kind of design book when I was doing this cosplay. Um, so we have photos of her full outfit, um, her avatar, and then I think this was from a bit of the dialogue when they go and talk to all of the ancestors um, and then my fabric samples for when I did the dress. So we see that she has this really awesome black lipstick. 
Um, we have a light green, we have darker green in the crease, and then we have really thick eyeliner and black eyebrows. So let's get to it. Okay, you definitely have options for eyeliners as well. Um, I got this Infinite Shadow Stick uh, NYX, and it's just a really thick, um, I'm gonna use this on my lips also, just cheap um, eyeliner. I also have this um, L'Oreal Infallible Super Slim Liquid Eyeliner that lasts for 12 hours. And then my all-time favorite Kat Von D's uh, Trooper, or Tattoo Liner in Trooper. I go with a green lip liner just to add a little more to the green black theme that we have going on. It's a really great look. I highly recommend it for everyone. Eyebrows. Okay, so at this point, you can either decide to do fake eyelashes, which I love, but I don't wear because they hit my glasses and it's really annoying. Um, and if you do decide to do fake lashes, you still need to put mascara on your regular lashes so that they look um, kind of more seamless together. So my favorite, Star Wars cover girl. This one says, indeed you are powerful. Yeah, I tried way too hard to find these when they first came out. Okay, so fake eyelashes. Um, like I said, I can't do fake eyelashes because they hit my glasses, and if I try to go around without my glasses, I can't see anything, and it's no fun for anyone. So I don't do fake eyelashes, but I think they're really cool, um, and they make a really big difference with a lot of kind of just the overall look of makeup. So you have your weird fake eyelash glue. Um, these are really annoying to put on. I'm not an expert, so I obviously have no real advice for getting these on other than just use a teeny, teeny, tiny bit of glue and don't poke yourself in the eye. That's about all I got for you. To kind of cover the seam too, you can put on some more um, eyeliner once you've put these guys on. Okay, beautiful. And now, of course, Porum has her facial jewelry. Okay, so I just on Amazon looked up, I think, fake nose rings or fake lip rings. Um, you can find tons of them, they're super cheap. Um, these guys are larger. This is what I have on my lip. Um, it's just a ring, you just slip it on, Super easy. Um, I also found these smaller guys, which I think are easier for the eyebrow rings, um, just because they weigh less. Um, I've lost the other two that I had because I think they fell off um, because I didn't really put them on properly, but the way that you are going to stick them to your face, nifty thing called spirit gum. And I got this at Easley's in Phoenix, which is on 7th Avenue in McDowell. It's a costume shop. Um, you can also order it online. And it's Ben Nye brand spirit gum. Um, it's a matte adhesive. When you buy this, it also comes with the spirit gum remover, which is really important because this stuff does not wash off with just soap and water. Um, even with this, it's super, super sticky and terrible. And since you're going to be applying it to your eyebrow, there, you're probably gonna rip some eyebrow hairs out, so. Um, it has this teeny brush, and you just dot it in place. So you just want two teeny tiny little dots 
where the ring is going to stick. And you have to wait for this to dry before you stick anything to it. Um, I believe it has, no, there are no directions on this. There might be directions on the packaging, um, but you wait for it to dry, so you just kind of can tap it until it becomes gummy. Okay, so it's kind of gummy feeling, and you're just going to stick your fake jewelry. Ta-da! Okay, and finally, uh, the last step would be your hair. Um, so last year I actually dyed my natural hair black because I have pretty long hair, um, but it is obviously not black anymore, so I ended up buying this wig actually for a Batter Witch cosplay, which I will be doing videos for in the future um, for this year's Comic-Con. But this wig also will, I think, work for Parm, even though she doesn't really have curly hair and this is a bit longer than what her hair would be like. I think it's still effective. Um, I will link in the comments, um, or I will link... I don't know, where will I link? In the description. I will link in the description um, where I got this wig. I will also link in the description um, the face paint that I used and... I don't know, anything else that I can think of that will be helpful uh, for you guys um, as far as material or extra things that you can look at for doing cosplays like this. I'm Bonnie, this is Nerd Soul. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also just a note too for Porum's um, tattoos, I find that a lot of people do them with like a black eyeliner um, or a black pencil and it just makes the lines way too thin. If you look at her in the comic, they are much thicker and I kind of tried to go proportionally off of how much of her arm was covered with tattoos versus not when I was drawing mine. Um, so I just went with, again, the same brand. As, um, so this is just black and then I got some really cheap. I think these are from Walmart or like the dollar store. They're like kids craft painting brushes. Um, and so I use the kind of thin um, broad brush for some of the strokes and then I went in back and colored in with this guy. Again you just get these a little bit wet and you can draw on your um, tattoos and I think that makes it a lot easier than trying to do it with a pencil. And then you just get a lot thicker um, tattoos and you get a really nice clean line um, at the edges as well.